All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue with our San Jose Sharks. I'd like to get at least one or two months of simulating done in this video, so we're going to be uh, nice and quick through free agency. I was reading your comments in the last video, and there's actually a few good ones. One that I didn't even notice when I was going through some of the goalie, uh, the backup goalies. Actually, you know what? Before I uh, go into the free agent list, I'll just show you guys exactly what we need for this team going into year two. Because I've said it before, I'll say it again, the year two simulation, you know, this is the year that we got to win the cup. This is almost our best chance for the next few years because uh, guys like Patrick Marlowe and uh, Joe Thornton. So we got to get a backup goalie, even though we have Staylock and he might jump up to lower 80s, high 70s to be a backup goalie. There was actually a really good idea in the uh, free agency. Uh, so I'll take care of that when we get there. Defensively, we got the one, two, three, four, five, six. I like our defensive core. If you remember back to last year, during the regular season, we were the best team for goals against and the best team for goals for so I really don't see us having to change up our defensive core at all Dan Boyle didn't retire and he's still 87 overall with four star potential so he's not getting any worse this year and uh, Demirs and Irwin they are both 26 years old with gold star potential they could get a bump still right I don't know if they're going to turn 27 before the, uh, the jump at uh, September 13th or 14th but uh, even if they get a jump of one, you know, up to 84, that would make our defense even better from last year. And Shattenkirk as well. With that red star, uh, maybe he'll get a jump up. Who knows? Uh, and then when it comes to the forwards, we got the same old problem. The first line, uh, you know, you got Joe Thornton, Logan Couture, and uh, Brett Burns. Second line, you got Patrick Marlowe, Joe Pavelski, and then the second line right wing. We could put uh, Tyler Kennedy back there like we did in the playoffs. We could go with Thomas Hurdle, or we could go out there and try to get a second line right winger all right uh everywhere else we're pretty much covered fourth line so i really don't need to do too much here so i'll give you guys my uh, my plan but before we do that let me just uh i want to start the simulation of free agency just so we can get to the season a lot quicker so for backups you guys were saying get evgeny nabokov back let him retire with the san jose sharks and if you run into problems during the uh during the playoffs this would be the perfect guy to go to so you know what i actually like that idea evgeny nabokov was he drafted by the sharks yeah ninth round 219 by in 1994 by the san jose sharks let's bring him back to san jose Jose. Uh, I love that idea. That's a great idea. So one year at, and we're not spending too much money in free agency here, so I can, I can raise the uh, the price a little bit. One year at 1.75 for uh, what's his name, Evgeny Nabokov. Defenseman don't need any of these guys. Even though it wouldn't be a bad idea to, uh, you know, maybe pick somebody up and replace him with a player on our team, just to try to make it a little bit better. I like our defense. It was good last year. I don't want to sign anybody new, and I don't want to give uh, them that big of a contract either. All right, so we're gonna skip on defensemen, right wingers. Uh, again, some depth players that we get, uh, we could get like uh, David Moss. You guys were saying uh, Nikolai Kuhlman. I don't think he's no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, Moss and Downey would wouldn't be bad. But the thing is, we already have a really good third line, and if we bring in a second line right winger, then somebody on our third line might have to move down to the fourth line, like Wingles, uh, Sabatka. Uh, uh, Tyler Kennedy, Thomas Hurdle, right? So you sign one of these guys and somebody is playing in the AHL. So I don't really see the need to get anybody here. Left wingers, uh, no, same thing. I, get, I could get somebody for the third line, but we already have a pretty good third line. I don't want to... I don't want to change anything. And then our centers, Steve Ott, no, I don't really, I don't really need any of this either. Everybody in free agency is more of a uh, uh, a third liner, right? The second liner, I, I want more of a second line uh, goal scoring threat. You know, these second liners, these guys are like grinders with bad discipline. They're going to be taking a lot of penalties. Uh, UC Jokinen wouldn't be a bad idea. He's our best option to put the second line right wing. But I, no, I, I think we can make a better trade for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sold on UC Oaken, and he's a left winger, right? So I'd rather get like a uh, a playmaker or a uh, is he a playmaker? He's a two way forward. I'd rather get like a playmaker or a power forward for that second line right wing to play alongside of the two way forward Pavelski and the sniper Patrick Marlowe. All right, so. What I want to do is, yeah, we got that one player signed, Evgeny Nabokov. Let's just see if there's any prospects now. Louis LeBlanc, you guys were saying, yeah, this guy could turn out to be a second line right wing. But, I just, I don't know. I had the cap space, I could sign him for sure. Broussard is a little bit too much, boys. I don't want to take a chance on Broussard. Uh, he's got uh, some cap there. And I mean, I could sign him just to trade him away again in the future, but I don't want to do that. Uh, Thomas Hurdle is still my uh, my go-to guy right now. But, Drayson Bowman, I was remember. yeah, I remember saying Drayson Bowman. He wouldn't be a bad pickup just because he's 76, and I think I can get him, not the two-year, yeah, one-year at a two-way deal. There you go. 
Don't need any of these guys. No. Uh, Dwight King I wanted to pick up as well, right? These are the uh, young potential players that I could get for the playoffs. And right now I can get them on two-way deals. So it's uh, a lot easier. Griba, same thing. You guys were saying this guy jumps up. So I'll get him to a I'll get him a two-way, uh, two-year deal. Maybe we could trade him at the end of one year if he, if he does jump up. Uh, all right. And uh, I don't need these guys. Falk, I don't need because he's going to be more of a uh, uh, NHLer in like by by the next year by the time we simulate up and I, I don't have any spots on my NHL team so I'm not going to get Falk I'm not going to get Broussard but Louis LeBlanc might not be a bad idea to just to try to pick up I'm not sold on his physical and defensive category remember for that second line right wing I want somebody who can who's his own right winger second liner who could play on the first line if need be this guy's more of a third line you're hoping that he turns into a second liner he's got good offensive stats but defensive stats i think uh, tyler kennedy's got better defensive stats right so i'll sign him to a two-year deal no a one-year deal yeah yeah one-year deal i want to save some money with this guy all right because we got the cap space 2.25 for one year but well, that's it all right now we're going to simulate up to the beginning of the season uh, yeah, there you go. Let me go for a drink while we're waiting for uh, Nabokov. Ah, there you go. That's much better. So, Drayson Bowman is on our team. That's good. Dwight King is on our team. Evgeny Nabokov is on our team. Eric Griba and Louis LeBlanc. I think Evgeny Nabokov was the, uh... Uh, was the beginning of the routine. I think that guy started up the routine. Or maybe it was a goalie before that. I, I forget. But, uh, talking about our second line right wing position... This is what I want to do. I didn't want to make the trade in free agency. I want to wait to see if a guy like Thomas Hurdle does get any better. I know you guys were saying that he doesn't jump too much. But remember, these are my own custom rosters. I did edit Thomas Hurdle slightly. I didn't want to raise his overall. He was still 80 overall. But there were some stats that were down there at like 65, you know, 77 for like deking or something. I made sure to give him just a better base stat. So he might jump up. He might not. He might. Um, but I do agree with that idea of you know, trade uh, Thomas Hurdle if he's not ready for this year. I, I I do kind of understand that because we did draft heavy this year. And if he's not going to be ready for this year, you know, trade for another player who's maybe, you know, a year or two older than him. So he's still considered young, but he's already NHL ready and he still has a potential upside. I wouldn't mind doing that. That's not a bad idea. I wouldn't want to trade Thomas Hurdle for like a, a Marion Hossa, right? Say you want to trade, uh, get Marion Hossa for that second line right wing. That would be great for this year, but you're giving up a lot of the future for that, right? I wouldn't mind trading, I'm not going to do this, but say Thomas Hurdle for like a Jordan Eberle type player, right? Somebody who's still young, who's still got plenty of upside, but who can still dominate in this year right now. So welcome back for your second year here in the GM of the San Jose Sharks. I butchered that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 44 wins on the season. So he wants 44 wins this year. I definitely think we can do that. Um, so scouting, let's go forwards, OHL. We'll do some CHL again. Remember, the uh, prospects are pretty good. Even year two, they're not bad. Year one, they're the best, but year two, they're not too bad. All right, so let's take a look and see if any players jumped up for us. Roster moves. All right, goalies. Start off on goalies first. All right, so we got 85 overall starter and Evgeny Nabokov, 80 overall backup. That's I like that one-two punch right there. And Nabokov, he's got pretty good poise, right? Yeah, he's got 85 for poise. Four-star reflexes, four-star puck control, and three-and-a-half-star athletic. I think he could actually do pretty good in the playoffs. Oh, God! That is a problem, though. I didn't even notice that. Look at that potential rating. One-star potential. So, over the course of the season, he might drop a lot. All right? So, it might actually be... And Staylock only got up to 72. It might be a good idea to sign another goalie. Like, high 70s. You know what? I'm going to just do that right now so I don't forget. Yeah. Nabokov might uh, end up dropping with that potential. And somewhere by the playoffs, you know, all of a sudden he's like a 72 overall goaltender. And then we get, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Niemi injured. No, 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 no. His potential was higher earlier, but now it's dropped. So we're going to get a, another goaltender in here. Somebody who's, uh, yeah, Habib, no, Habib Bullen's 41. I need to get somebody who's a little bit younger here. Uh, 26, no. Thomas Voku. Yeah, you know what? Uh, what's his potential? Two-star potential. Look at all these guys. Two-star potential. Jose Theodore, two-star. Two-star. Giger, two all these goalies are going to get so shit over this year. You know what? I'll just get this guy. Just in case. Yeah, Medor. Uh, two, 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 three. Oh, you know what? Bach Bachman is actually better. There you go. So, yeah. Very nice. There you go. So, we got that uh, goaltender problem uh, fixed just in case, right? I just wanted to clear that up. Let's just get him on my team just so I can see the roster right now. 
Just skip ahead. There you go. All right, so Richard Bachman is on the team. Let me just uh, blow my nose quick. Hang on. All right, so we got uh, that extra backup goalie now just in case uh, of getting the Bach off does drop. I, I hope he does, and I want to use him. I'm not going to, you know, not use him for the beginning of the simulation, but just in case he does drop off. Now we got Bachman just in case. He is listed as a backup goalie, 75. It will be more serviceable than it, Nabokov if he drops to, like, a 70 overall. That's all I got him for, okay? Uh, defense, one, two. Uh, Shattenkirk, he's still 88 overall. But, you know what? Even if Shattenkirk... And he, you know what? There you go. He got the top two defenseman role. So, you know what? I'm happy with Kevin Shattenkirk. Even though he's got that red star potential, he's pretty much hit his peak anyway. So, you know what? I'm not going to complain. Uh, what a great trade it was to get Sh Kevin Shattenkirk on our team. And... You know, he's only 25 years old, so he technically st still could get better. If he has another, you know, Norris uh, Trophy-type winning season, 51 points, he's got to have a better playoff, though, as well, to really get those points up, okay? So, Shattenkirk, Boyle, Vlasic, Irwin. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 Irwin. Did he jump? Yeah, he got up to 85, so went up to from an 83 to an 85 for Matt Irwin. That's a big bump for us. Uh, Vlasic is still at 87, all right? Demir's... Uh, he stayed at 83, so it looks like he's going to stay at an 83. And Braun, uh, did he jump? No, no, he was already 27 years old. 81 overall, okay? So it looks like Demirs and Braun on the second are in the uh, top six. Vlasic and Irwin and Boyle and Shattenkirk or Vlasic and Shattenkirk. We'll figure it out. I think it was Vlasic and Shattenkirk last year. And again, we were top for goals against, right? So I might want to do that again. Uh, and then forwards, Thomas Hurdle is an 81 overall, okay? So... I'll bring him up just to show you guys. Dwight King. Oh, yeah, Dwight King got a good jump. Look at that defensive cat category, 84, 84, 86. And the physical uh, physical category is five-star. He's got a discipline of 81. This guy is a perfect fourth liner for us. Yeah, I, I'd want to keep him up on the team. Drayson Bowman did not jump, so he's not a third liner that we want to put in there. And then all these other guys, no. Okay, uh, we can check out... Uh, no, our, our young guns wouldn't have jumped just yet. We just drafted them. All right, so Logan... Let's see, uh, Joe Thornton still got four-star potential. Marlowe still got four-star potential, so that's good. Once they drop to like three and a half and less, then it starts to become a problem, but they're still four-star. So I'd imagine that this year they're going to stay up there, okay? So that's good news. Wingles is 82. I really like his defensive categories, but he could, uh, yeah, he could play the, uh, the only thing about Wingles is he's the center and he doesn't have the greatest face-offs, but he could still play the fourth line. Uh, Hurdle. Now, see, here's the thing about Hurdle, right? Last year, 44 points on the second line. That could be a lot more with uh, Pavelski and Marlowe. And during the playoffs, five points in 16 games played, minus one. Now, he was on the third line. But I was hoping that he would get the jump. And the thing that I don't like about Hurdle, even for a third liner, his defensive category really isn't the greatest. 82 for defensive awareness, 78 for shot blocking, 78 for stick checking. Offensive awareness, 84. Poise is 80. You know, his offensive categories are coming around. He's a fast skater. But, again, you know, this is a this is a must-win year. So, I'm actually leaning on the side of trading Hurdle for a uh, an 83 or an 84 overall young player. I mean, Hurdle's 20. I wouldn't mind getting, like, a 24-year-old, 25-year-old. That wouldn't be a problem to me. Because Logan and uh, Shattenkirk are the age... Are the type of age of the, the the type of player that I'm looking for for the next 10 years. You know, he's 25. I think Shattenkirk is 25. So you want to build your team around these two players, your top two defensemen and your first line center, right? Hurdle is five years younger. Now that's not a bad thing, but it's also not a bad thing if we trade up for a guy who's 23, 24, 25. You still have 10 years in him, right? And you can win the Stanley Cup this year. So I may regret trading Thomas Hurdle, but I uh, it's our best trading asset. Tyler Kennedy. Yeah, he's still got really good poise, good defensive awareness. He's like a, just a good overall player. I want to keep him. Uh, Dwight King, I want to hold on to him. Now, Frazier McLaren, as much as you guys may not like Frazier McLaren, I mean, 15 points on the fourth line, plus 13. Five points in the play, uh, four points in the playoffs, plus five. All right, and I mean, I want a tough guy on the team. People were saying in the comments that the reason I didn't have any injuries in the playoffs was because I had a tough guy in the lineup. Uh, I don't know if that's true. That that that's a that sounds you know that sounds cool, but I, I haven't done any experiments with that, so I can't actually tell you if it's true or not. Uh, but I'm gonna keep Fraser McLaren on the team. Sabatka, he's got good defensive categories as well. And I want to keep him. McClements, he's got good defensive categories also. And LaRose, I think we might be able to drop LaRose off now. I'd rather keep everybody else. Is that... Yeah, we still have one player too many. So we're going to have to figure out what we want to do here. We might actually not get any simulating done in this video. I want to get one, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see here. So Joe... 
Burns, if we're going to go to the same lines that we had last year, right? Because we won the the presidents last year, so let's, might as well. Uh, Marlo, Pavelski, and uh, where is he? Well, Hurdle would be there. I think he's just scratched right now. So, McClements on the fourth line center. Uh, Fraser McLaren on the fourth line left wing. And then, oh, Louis LeBlanc is in here. That's why. That's the problem. Uh, no, same thing with Louis LeBlanc. He's He's got a good offensive category, but his defensive category isn't good enough for a Stanley Cup winning team. Not for a third or fourth liner. All right, no. My third and fourth liners have got to be veteran-type, amazing defensive body-checking players. That's just the way I like to build my teams. Uh, so we're going to take Louis LeBlanc out of there. But still, a good player to have, you know, in the future. He might he might jump up. It's not a bad idea. LeBlanc, there you go. Is that too many still? Yeah, ooh, you know what? That's actually good news. Because I sat Chad LaRose now. LeBlanc, Bowman, LaRose. And I'm going to hold on to LaRose. Might as well. But at least now when I'm making the changes, you know, it's one for one if I want to trade Hurdle. It's one for one to bring up, uh, bring back the other guy. All right, so Marlowe, Thornton, and Burns. No, 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 no. Hang on. There you go. There you go. Uh, McClements, McLaren, and I think I might go uh, Dwight King instead of Chad LaRose now, and then keep the third line the same as it was last year. Uh, Sabatka, Wingles, and uh, Tyler Kennedy. I think Wingles was on the right. Sabatka was in the middle, right? Because he had the face-offs. Hang on, hang on. 85 for face-offs. What was Tyler Kennedy's face-offs? 70. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sabatko, Wingles, and uh, Kennedy, all right? So you can see how we improved our third and fourth line just a little bit with Dwight King getting in there. And also uh, Wingles and Fraser McLaren getting better. I mean, Fraser McLaren actually has a really good defensive category now. Look at that. 84 defensive awareness for a, uh, a enforcer. And for anyone saying he takes too many penalties, it's fighting majors, all right? That, they don't count as penalties. He's not taking minor penalties. I mean, I'm sure he's taking a few minor penalties. But those 47... Uh, penalties right there that could have been like six fights in the playoffs making up for like 30 of those minutes right there right 16 games six fights that sounds about right for Frazier McLaren it could have been even more so don't judge an enforcer's penalty minutes they could be fighting penalty minutes you you, you don't know about that um all right so here it is right here Thomas Hurdle I think our team would look a lot better with an 84 or an 83 overall playmaker or power forward or even a sniper another sniper just to get some more depth goal scoring because in the playoffs sometimes we go Marlowe up here right and then we go so maybe another sniper wouldn't be a bad idea and also wouldn't be a, a bad idea to think of a sniper for the future with Logan Couture so that's yeah it's another thing to think about all right I'm gonna say it right here boys we're probably not gonna get any simulating done in this video because I got to do some whole scouting for trades right now I want to try and make the trade myself but I don't want to force it so if uh we might have to just end the video here and, uh, like, get your opinions for the right winger. I'll show you guys all the list. I, I might try to make a trade myself, but, I, again, I don't want to force it. All right, so I'll show you guys everything we have here. Uh, so Joe, Logan, Shattenkirk. Look at Shattenkirk's trade value now from what it was last year. That's a big that's a big steal. Marlowe, Vlasic, Burns, Pavelski, uh, Cybernaller. We're not trading Cybernaller. Might as well hold on to him unless... You know, a huge trade comes around. But we drafted this guy, what? Ninth overall? No, no, no. We got to hold on to him. He's too good. Boyle, Hurdle. There it is. Pretty good trade value right there for Hurdle. All right. So I'll just throw him in there for right now. Uh, Nylander. No. Demirs. No. Irwin. LeBlanc. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to trade LeBlanc because I just signed him. But I wouldn't mind trading him either. If, 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 if it's right to do, you know what? I'm going to throw him in there anyways. That's really the only thing, two things we have to trade. So, Hurdle and LeBlanc, all right? So, let's try to find a right winger in here. I'm just going to go team to team and try to find a right winger at uh, mid-80s. 82 overall, let's see. Smith Pelly's like a power forward. Offense awareness, 85. Defensive, what? No, it could be a little bit better. Could be a little bit better. It's not a bad player. But uh, we're looking for somebody here that can really take control of this team. Uh, 82, Riley Smith. Let's see, 82, he's got the green, uh, three and a half star. No, his defensive awareness is still down there. I want a combination. I want somebody who can still play good defensively. The offense will be there, don't worry. We'll find somebody. I can even put a left winger on the right. I'm just going to go through right wingers first just to see if there's any natural right wingers. Make it a lot easier for me. Nope. Uh, Shason, uh, he's only 80 overall. That might as well keep hurdle for that. Uh, Franzen, Alfredson, no. Edmonton, Jordan Everly, no, he nailed Yakupov. Hmm. Now defense awareness is still down there. It's the same same type of player, basically. Uh, Zykov, Toffoli, Dustin Brown, Matt Fratt. Matt Fratton's 84 overall? What the hell? 84 overall, defense awareness 85, shot blocking 85, stick checking 87, offense awareness 83. Doesn't have the greatest offensive awareness. 
He's a good defensive player, and his trade value is nice and low. I mean, you could get him just to pick him up, but three years left at 2.2. Yeah, you know, Matt Fratton's not bad. I'm not going to make the trade. I'm just saying he's not a bad pickup there. Charlie Coyle, 81. Nah, not high enough. Brendan. Ooh, Brendan Gallagher. That might just be the perfect fit right there. I know the Montreal Canadian fans won't want me to trade for him, but screw that. Defensive awareness, I mean, look at that, 85, 85, 86, still getting better, 22 years old, all right, four green star potential. His offensive category, I mean, 86 for offensive awareness, poise is already 80, puck skills, 86 down the board, good shooting category, good, oh yeah, this guy, he's taking the lead, Brendan Gallagher is taking the lead, all right, and that's actually doable trade uh, trade value right there. Uh, New Jersey, new. I'm going to fly through these teams now, I think I, I want Brendan Gallagher, that's a nice fit. Uh, Kyle Lock Pozo, no. Thing about Gallagher is he's got plenty of upside. You know, he's not 26, 25 like all these other guys right here. Uh, Bobby Ryan, no. Wayne Simmons wouldn't be a bad idea, but no, you got to compete now with uh, not with uh, Gallagher. I'd rather get Gallagher, man. I love Brandon Gallagher. Uh, Tarasenko, ooh, Tarasenko. Well, actually, probably the crappy defensive cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't need a. Wouldn't be a bad idea, but no, no. Uh, Kucherov. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get this guy. He's got... Yeah, I lowered the uh, the potential, but no, no, no. Uh, Kessel, Clarkson. No, we're not spending five mil for Clarkson. Cassian wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see Cassian's stats. He's a power forward, too. No, Gallagher's much better. Ah, uh, yeah, man. I think we're going after Gallagher. It's way, it's way too uh, juicy to pass up. And uh, Wheeler wouldn't be a bad idea, but... 5.6. No, I can't I can't take that on. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to do it. Brendan Gallagher. Because that could be a perfect right winger of the future for Logan. And we could still find that sniper for him on the left. Future-wise. Future. That's way in the future. But I like that. I like that deal a lot. So the Montreal Canadiens. Brendan Gallagher. Let's get him on the team. All right. So they're going to have some cap space problems. Should I? You know what? Hang on. Let me just uh, simulate up to a preseason game. Sometimes that makes a difference because the team will, uh, you know, make some roster changes. You know what? I should probably switch over. I don't want to lose any of this. Hang on one second. All right, that's much better. So let's try to make that trade for Brendan Gallagher, get him to the San Jose Sharks. And another good thing about this is if we're trading Thomas Hurdle to the Montreal Canadiens, we're trading him to the Eastern Conference, right? And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually good news for us. So Gallagher, yeah, now they're at 5.58. Oh, no. That's because I haven't uh, put the players up yet. Yeah, there you go. Hurdle, will that go through just by itself? Because I'd hold on to LeBlanc if I could. No, probably not. Yeah, I'll give him LeBlanc. Even though I just signed this guy and my GM reputation is going to go down, they're going to say don't trade players that you just signed. I know, I hate when I see that, but whatever. I'm trying to sneak up their uh, first overall pick as well. It's not that high in trade value. So Hurdle, LeBlanc, can they take any extra players here? Like, oh, they can. Ooh. Okay, hang on a sec. Skaters matching the block. Let's see. Braun, no, no, no. Wingles, no, no, no. If I'm trading... No, we have our team. No, we have our team. I don't want to trade away LaRose or anybody. No, no, no. We have our team. All skaters. All right, so Granberg. Yeah, we're going to trade away some of these guys with two years left so I can free up the uh, the roster next year. All right, so two years. Two years left for Griba. Holding on to Griba. Yeah, holding on to Griba. Petrecki holding on to him. Reed. Yeah, Reed I can trade. Yeah, Reed. He's not going anywhere. There you go. They can accept that player. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that could go through. Might have to add a draft pick to it. Let's just add a, uh, a third. Uh, let's add a fourth. I wouldn't mind holding on to the third. So, Hurdle, LeBlanc, uh, Tarasov, Reed, and a fourth for Gallagher and a first. Will it go through? No, it did not. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'll try the uh, the third just for the first. I can take the first off and make it a lot easier. I just want to see if I can get it, though. So the third for the first. Will it go through? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's not play around with this. Let's take off the first, all right? Uh, let's try to get second. Let's try to get a second. If this doesn't go through, I'm taking the pick off. Fourth, Reed, Tarasov, LeBlanc, Hurdle for a second and Brandon Gallagher. Will it go through? Nope. All right. So we'll take that off. Uh, I don't see. Let's see this. Yeah, that looks like enough trade value right there. It's just probably just a little bit more. So the fourth, if not, I'll use the third. Will it go through? No, sweeten just a touch. It'll go through with the third here. Will it go through? Really? Holy shit. Um, shit. All right, maybe it's these guys. If I add a fourth instead of a, a non-signed player, is that worth more? Will it go through? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to add a, a third for next year. There you go. A lot of draft picks here. There you go. All right, so Brendan Gallagher on our team. I didn't like that, though. My my uh, GM reputation probably went down from those trades. Let's see my GM rep after. 
Uh, Griba, blah, blah, blah. Do I already have everybody? Yeah, we already have it. So it's perfect. So, let's see. Brendan Gallagher. Welcome to the San Jose Sharks. Much better looking team now. I, I'm gonna miss Thomas Hurdle, and if he turns into an amazing player, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna suck. But I don't think uh, we can complain really. I think uh, Brendan Gallagher is a very good player for the future, for right now, and he fits in perfectly where I want him. You know, he's a second liner right now, but he's got enough upside that he could become a first liner of the future with Logan Gallagher, and we get a sniper right there, right? So yeah, I don't want to do. Uh, should I make it a long video? Could make it a long video. We could just do one month of simulating just to see. Yeah, I'll do one month of simulating. Uh, so, Logan. Yeah, I'll just try to wing the uh, the lines right here, and then you guys can uh, chime in to see if anything changed. I don't think... I think these are the lines, yeah. So, Marlowe, Pavelski, and Brendan Gallagher now. Defensively, Vlasic, Shattenkirk. I think that was it, because Vlasic's lefty, right? Yeah. Vlasic's a lefty. Uh, Demir's and Boyle. Boyle's a lefty, right? No, he's a righty. Okay. And Braun is a righty, right? So, you got all the righties on the right side. Demir's Irwin is a lefty. Yeah. I don't know why he's down here. You're going up there. Demir's, you're coming down here now. Oh, Demir's is a righty as well. So we're going to go Vlasic, Shattenkirk, Boyle, Irwin, and uh, Demir's, and Braun. It's a very good defensive uh, core right there. 287s, an 88, and an 85 in your top four. So we do have that top two defenseman right now. Uh, Logan, Joe, Marlowe. No, we're going to keep the lines the same as they were last year. Uh, Boyle with Shattenkirk. Yeah, that works out for me right there. Uh, Vlasic with Irwin. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Marlowe, Pavelski, and Gallagher. Joe and Couture, Pavelski, Marlowe. Yeah, is it Vlasic? Vlasic and Irwin. Yeah, Vlasic and Irwin. Penalty kill. Now, the penalty kill. Uh, I definitely want Jamie Clement in there. All right, did we want... I forget what we did last year. Did we use our, our top-notch players to kill off the penalty? Or was it... Uh, did we use, like, the, the depth players down there? I can't remember. Gallagher. Should we use Gallagher on the PK? Yeah, you know what? I want to use some of our depth players in there. Give uh, some of our top-notch players a rest. Brett Burns looks like a great penalty killer as well. All right, so Gallagher, I want to get in there. I want to give, yeah, I want to give these guys a break. So Pavelski, no, no, no. We're going to give Sabatka the second line penalty kill. McClements, all right, and uh, Brendan Gallagher. Actually, should I go Wingles and uh, hang on? Yeah, you know what? Let me play my third liners down here. Give some ice time to the uh, third liners. Uh, and if we if our penalty kill is not doing the greatest, we can always change it, right? But I'll go uh, Dwight King as well. He's got a good defensive category. Yeah, there you go, Dwight King. All right, so you guys can weigh in on that. Um, uh, maybe I should change it back. I don't know. We'll uh, leave it for right now. Shattenkirk with Boyle. No, we don't want uh, Boyle on the, the PK. Shattenkirk and then Irwin with uh, Demir's. Demir's is a two-way or is he defense? Yeah, Demir's is defensive. There you go, Demir's. Get him in there. All right, with Irwin, yeah, Sabotka and King. And then we'll leave Logan and Joe with the three-man uh, penalty kill. That's fine. Uh, Vlasic with Shattenkirk, Irwin with Demirs. Okay, very nice. Four-on-four four lines, uh, we can leave that. Yeah, that's fine. Four-on-four four lines, that's fine. Extra attacker, Joe and Logan, yeah, that's fine. Uh, goalies, Niemi and Nabokov, and the shootout. All right, so there you go. There are the line changes. Uh, AHL lines, best lines. Let's see if there's anybody who should be starting who's not. Uh, Nylander, yes, we have to start Nylander. So he's only 58 overall, so I'm only going to put him on the fourth line. I don't want to put him up on the first line and give him red stars after one year. I don't know if that's the reason, but uh, it sometimes works like that. So I'm just going to put him on the fourth line right wing. All right, there you go. And I think I can back out because, yeah, he's the only one there. Perfect. So I know you guys want to see a uh, at least one month of simulating. It'll be a long video, whatever. We'll get one month of simulating done. All right, just one month, though. We'll go up to the end of October. So, there you go. And, uh, did I already... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Injuries, back off. Goalie rotations, back on. Almost forgot that stuff. Injuries. There you go. Injuries off. And, uh, where's goalie rotations? There you go. Uh, 
there it is on there you go all right so yeah 30 minutes already god damn i did not want this to be that long of a video but whatever we'll get one month of simulating done we'll see how brendan gallagher uh, does for our team it's kind of i just hate doing one month of simulating because i mean you could lose every game in the first month doesn't mean you're a bad team just coincidence right there's only like like 12 games in the first month or something like that something around those uh that, that something around that number uh, yeah, see, there it is. I wouldn't trade away players that you recently added so quickly. It won't help your GM rep. Yeah, my bad. I know. I didn't want to do it. But, uh, you know, you got to make a trade to get a player in here. Thomas Hurdle and uh, Louis LeBlanc off to Montreal for uh, Brandon Gallagher. I'm sure uh, Louis LeBlanc likes that. Sounds like a French name. Probably played in the QMJHL. Uh, you know what? Let me blow my nose one more time while it's simulating here. Ah, that's much better. All right, so preseason, we are 4-1-0. and 5-1-0, not bad. So a very good preseason, which is kind of uh, anticlimactic. But still, against the other team's worst players, we were dominant. That's good news, right? At least we were dominant. First game of the regular season, on the road against Calgary. Come on. It's, it'll be an omen for the uh, omen for the year. We lose on the road against the Calgary Flames. Give me a break. At home now, in the uh, the Shark Tank, right? The Shark Tank. i got to get used to that. All right, so remember, the first month, you really can't uh, you can't judge your team too much. We basically have the same team out there, except for Thomas Hurdle as the change for uh, Brendan Gallagher and uh, Chad LaRose for Dwight King. That's basically the only changes that we have on our team. Uh, and uh, of getting a Bach off as the backup. Every other change comes from our players just getting older and getting better, right? None of our players got older and worse. Even a guy like uh, Dan Boyle, he didn't get too much. I don't even think he got worse at all. He's still 87. So... Don't worry if we do we don't have the greatest start. I would like to win the President's Trophy again, but it's not the uh, the biggest thing in the world. I just want to make sure that we get to the playoffs and that we can finally just perform in those playoffs, all right? So not looking too good so far. Damn, 2-3-0. What the hell is going on? Maybe we should make a trade. <laughs> no, I'm joking. See what I mean, though? The beginning part of the season, you can never tell. I want to go more stimulating, but no, the video is going to be way too long. So Nashville, 6-1, to one, there you go. Get some goals. I reviewed the year's draft class briefly, blah, blah, blah. All right. Up against the Wilds. Damn, man, 4-4-0. Four, four, oh. That's not good. Didn't get off to the good start. I forgot what kind of start we got off to last year. I think, I think we got off to a really good start. I think it was just, like, automatic. I think last year, though, I did, like... Uh, Two uh, two months of simulating though. So one month of simulating, nine games in, we're four, five, and zero. Oh, not the greatest. Let's do one more month. Yeah, let's just do one more month. Because I know if I just leave it like that, you guys are gonna be saying, make this change, make that change, and it's too early. And the next video, I'll take it all the way up to the trade deadline. So you guys really won't have a, a say in it. So let's go two months just to see if that four, five, and zero oh record was legitimate. Damn man, we're losing to the Edmonton Oilers. What the hell, Brendan Gallagher should have kept Thomas Hurdle or Chad LaRose. No, no, no. It's just coincidence. It's just a simulation engine, right? At the end of the day, it's still it's just coincidence. 6-6-0. Six, six oh. don't, don't worry. Over 82 games played, we will turn this around. We've got to. Big Bad Joe Thornton, Jumbo Joe, and uh, what's his name? Patrick Marlowe. This could be your last year here in San Jose. So, I mean, you guys, you guys got to play for the fans. got to play for yourselves. Get that regular season uh, President's Trophy if you can. Go out with a... A good season, you know, because the Stanley Cup, I mean, you can build your team, you can make a perfect team in this game, and you still can't guarantee yourself a Stanley Cup. So, it's going to be tough. Definitely going to be tough. Six, seven, six, and one. There you go. Get back above 500. We got to go on a winning streak. That's what we need. We, every time we win a game, we come back with like a loss or two losses, right? We can't, we can't, uh, it's like a, it's like a plane trying to take off from a runway, you know, they just can't take off. It's trying, but it just can't get it. We need to get on like a three or four game winning streak. That'll separate us from the uh, contenders, from pretenders. I would like it to happen before the end of this month as well. But you can see, I mean, the first month, four, five, and oh, now we're nine, six, and two. It's just, you know, coincidence. Simulation. There you go. Finally. That's what I want to see. I want to see some winning streaks. All right. Philadelphia, similar record. Ah, we lose. Come back with a win now. Don't, don't destroy that winning streak that we had by losing, uh, going on a losing streak. Come on now, come back with another win against Anaheim. Big win, big win. There you go. All right, so we're starting to win some games now, boys. 
12 and 9, basically, not too bad. Again, still very uh, early on in the season. I look at this team and I see a team that should be a good team. So I'm not going to pull the trigger on a trade or a crazy move. Remember, though, one thing that we could do to maybe improve our team was the penalty kill. I'm going to call it out before we even take a look at the uh, standings, right? Maybe I should be playing guys like Joe Thornton and Logan on the, uh, the penalty kill. Maybe I should be. If our penalty kill is nice and low, then maybe I shouldn't be playing our third and fourth liners on the penalty kill. But right now, we have won four in a row. And we've actually won seven of our last eight, all right? So you can see, just it just takes one stretch to get a team like ours back on track. And right now, we're 14-7-2, and 14-9. and nine. Pretty good. Uh, the, the I mean, we're first in the Pacific Division, first in the Western Conference, all right? Uh, and third, tied for third in the NHL. So it's still ver very early on. Don't go crazy with any changes just yet. But, uh, of course, if you have any opinions that you think that can make the team better, go ahead. But, I mean, we are third in the NHL, right? So, don't don't go crazy. Goals four per game, that could be better. Ninth in the NHL. We were first last year above three goals four per game. So, I would like that to be improved. Goals against per game, ninth in the NHL. So, for both categories, we are top ten, which would indicate a playoff-bound team, right? But, still, I would like to both for them both to be top five. That's my standard for this team. Uh, power play percentage, 15th in the NHL, so the power play is not the greatest. All right. And penalty kill percentage, first in the NHL. <laughs> Man, I, I just don't know what to make of this. So my, my strategy for putting the third and fourth liners on the penalty kill seems to be working great. Right, um, but the power play is not doing the greatest. Even with four, uh, six now, even with six great forwards. So I don't know, but at least the penalty kill is doing good. That's that's real good news. Our home record is six one and zero. Oh, our away record is six two or eight six and two, and our last ten seven one and two. All right. So again, kind of the stats are all over the place right now. Players' stats though. Let's see what Brendan Gallagher is doing for us. Made that trade, Brendan Gallagher. We put a lot of uh, chips in that pot. It's time for you to. Uh, uh, come out for us, man. You got you to prove yourself. So, Joe Thornton, 32 points in 23 games played. He's having another great year. Logan, 24 and 23. And Brett Burns, 16 and 23. So, Joe is doing amazing. And then it kind of like, I don't know, he's just a beast. Second line, Joe Pavelski, 15. That's good. Uh, Patrick Marlowe, only 11. That's not the greatest for uh, Patrick Marlowe. He's only on pace for like a 42-point season or something like that. So, that could be better. And Brandon Gallagher, same thing, right? So I think what what needs to happen is that second line needs to wake up. Joe Pavelski, Patrick Marlowe, and Brendan Gallagher, right? Uh, don't know how it's going to happen, but still, we got to we got definitely got to shake that line up a little bit. Uh, they are plus players, though. They're all plus players. That's good news. Third line, there you go. See what I mean? The third line almost has the same amount of goals as Gallagher, more points. So that's uh, that's something that we can look at. Defenseman. Uh, Dan Boyle, 13 points. Vlasic, 10. Irwin, 8. Shattenkirk, 8. All right. And goaltenders, Niemi. Is, I mean, Nabokov is still 80 overall. That's good. Uh, Niemi, 11-6-0. Save percentage, 9-1.87. And goals against. Where was his goals against? Hang on. 2.34. Could be a little bit better for Niemi as well. But uh, it's still early on in the season. So the stats are all over the place. All right. So there you go. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And last but not least, progress reports. Let's see who's getting better, who's getting worse. Looks like Dwight King got worse because he's playing on the fourth line as an 82 overall. That makes sense. Uh, Shattenkirk got better. That's good for us. McClement got worse. Joe Thornton got better, apparently, 92. Uh, Boyle, 87. He got better as well. Uh, Wingles, yeah. Vlasic, he got better. All right, pretty good, man. We got a lot of people getting better now. What the hell? Uh, Nabokov, did he get worse? He even got better. What the fuck? I don't even know what's going on. All right, so there you go. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know, and I will see you in the next video.